Hello everybody and welcome to our newest edition of Transfermarkt TV International from our headquarters in Hamburg, Germany. Today's show will feature some eyebrow-raising rumors and of course we have our specialty, the Transfermarkt Market Value Update from the Premier League. We start the show with the focus category and by that we start with the best of the best. Lionel Messi, the Ballon d'Or and FIFA World Player of the Year 2019, recorded another milestone in his stellar career. His hat-trick in Barcelona's 5-2 victory against Mallorca last weekend marked the 35th time in La Liga history for the 32-year-old Argentine that he scored at least three goals in a game. He surpasses Cristiano Ronaldo, who had that feature only 34 times. In the same game against Mallorca, Barcelona's Marc-André Ter Stegen achieved a remarkable number for a goalkeeper. His goal kick to Antoine Griezmann's 1-0 goal became already his second assist this season. The German international backup goalie with this unusual feat stands on the same level as, for example, Ivan Rakitic or Luis Suarez, who also have only two assists in La Liga this season. Torgan Hazard has a record for himself in the German Bundesliga. The Belgian international scored once in Dortmund's 5-0 rout of Fortuna Düsseldorf last weekend, thus crowning the 26-year-old as new number one Belgian Bundesliga goalscorer with now 34. Previously, Emil Mpensa held the record with 33 marks in the early 2000s with Schalke and Hamburg. From League to Champions League competition and one more record for Barcelona. Young sensation Ansu Fati needed just one minute after coming into the game as a substitute to score the late game deciding 2-1 at Inter Milan. That alone is remarkable, but a record maybe for the ages is the fact that Ansu Fati now is by far the youngest player ever to score a goal in the Champions League. Let's take a look at the new top five of the youngest player ever to score in Champions League competition. Bojan Krikic had that feat done with 17 years, 7 months and 4 days for Barcelona when he scored in a 1-0 victory against Schalke 04. Cesc Fabregas scored for Arsenal in a 5-1 victory against Rosenborg Trondheim in 2004. He was only one day younger than Krikic and Mateo Kovacic was two days younger than Fabregas when he scored for Dynamo Zagreb in a 1-7 loss against Olympique Lyon 2011. The old record holder was Peter Ofori Kwaye, a Ghanaian international for Olympiakos Piraeus in 1997, where he scored a goal against Rosenborg Trondheim. And now we have Ansu Fati with 17 years, one month and nine days, being by far the youngest goal scorer in UEFA Champions League competition to this moment. Probably a record for the ages. Next up is our category Rumor Mill with some very prominent names this week. The first one right here, Sadio Mane, the 27-year-old Senegalese striker from Liverpool, was just recently voted number four at Ballon d'Or and is in focus of Paris Saint-Germain's planning staff. Mane's contract with Liverpool runs into 2023 and his market value now stands at 150 million euros. Hard to imagine that he might leave the Reds, but as France Football reports, PSG is working on a backup scenario for possible Neymar departure in summer. The 27-year-old Brazilian left wing is constantly thinking about his transfer away from the French powerhouse back to Spain at either Barcelona or Real Madrid. He has already played for the international heavyweights, but won't play for Bologna FC. Slatan Ibrahimovic at age 38 will not renew his contract with MLS side LA Galaxy. He was a target of the Italian Serie A side Bologna, but the Swedish supreme striker who scored 31 goals in as many MLS soccer games this season opted against the offer as Bologna sporting director Walter Sabatini quoted on Calcio Mercato and via tutomercatoweb.com, he said, Ibrahimovic will not come to Bologna. With him, we lived only a beautiful dream. He has made other professional choices that are more than legitimate from his point of view. 
Jose Mourinho might follow his reputation as the manager who spent the most money in transfers in football history. According to El Desmarque, Mourinho is eyeing a transfer of Napoli centre-back Kalidou Koulibaly to White Hart Lane as early as winter. If the price is right, Napoli already signalled a willingness to release the 28-year-old Senegalese international, whose market value stands at 75 million euros. Manchester United and Real are competitors and number two on Mourinho's list, former player Mourin Fellaini right now with Chinese side Shandong Lune. Manchester City is in search of a new centre-back due to the long-term injury of Amérique Laporte, the French international. Sources to Sky UK found out that citizens are looking into signing Dutch international Nathan Ake from AFC Bournemouth in winter. The 24-year-old is a solid defender for the Cherries and has improved his market value to 35 million euros. The absence of Bournemouth in international competition makes the transfer even more likely, but Everton and Tottenham might also be in the race for Aki. A different centre-back is in focus of Arsenal. According to The Mirror, the Gunners are willing to pay at least £13 million for former English international Chris Smalling. The 30-year-old has been on loan to AS Rome this season and has impressed so far in Serie A. Smalling belongs to Manchester United and is, according to Gazzetta dello Sport, a target for Roma, who want to sign him on a permanent deal, willing to pay at least £13 million, making a transfer to the Gunners a very costly one. Elsewhere in the Premier League, Unai Emery might be a candidate for manager job at Everton. The Sun reports that there have been talks between the 48-year-old Spaniard and Goodison Chiefs. Just 10 days after his dismissal at Arsenal, Unai Emery would be a surprise replacement for sacked Marco Silva. The Telegraph has a story of Chelsea right-wing Pedro being a transfer target for Aston Villa in winter. The 32-year-old Spaniard fell down in the pecking order with the Blues recording just 306 minutes in four Premier League games this season. The World Cup and European champion might be a valuable addition for Villa in fighting relegation. Last but not least, Barcelona, according to different sources, see Three Lions captain Harry Kane as an adequate replacement for aging 32-year-old Uruguayan striker Luis Suarez. The 26-year-old Kane, supreme goalscorer, has a contract with Tottenham dating until June 24. His market value stands at 150 million euros. Kane already has scored nine goals in Premier League and six goals in Champions League action this season. And now it's time for our specialty, and that of course is the market value update for different European leagues. We have a couple of them coming up next week, but this week we focus of course on the Premier League. And we start with a possible squad that has the highest market value right now in the Premier League. We start with goalie Alisson, the Brazilian from Liverpool, who increased in market value to 90 million euros. Every value is counted in euros. Amérique Laporte right now injured for Manchester City, 75 million euros, and Virgil van Dijk, who remains at 100 million euros, the uh, most expensive or most valuable central defender. Then we have on the left side Andy Robertson, who gained 20 million to 80 million euros from Liverpool and Trent Alexander-Arnold, who now stands at 110 million euros, becoming the most valuable defender in the world due to his unusual playing style and his new way of interpreting the way he defends and being a playmaker. Kevin De Bruyne in midfield gained 20 million euros. The former Wolfsburg star now very happy with Manchester City becoming a pivotal part in the success of the citizens. 150 million euros in market value. N'Golo Kante due to some injuries, not an increase, but still remaining at a very solid 100 million euros for the defensive midfielder from Chelsea. Let's take a look at the offensive midfielders. We have Raheem Sterling, 160 million euros for Raheem Sterling, an increase of 20 million euros for the citizen striker who has an outstanding season this season and had a great season last season. Very well deserved now being the most valuable English player in the world. Sadio Mane, 
gained 30 million due to his success in Champions League action and a very solid season this season with Liverpool now stands at 150 million euros the Senegalese international strong money value for him also strong as usual Mo Salah also from Liverpool 150 million euros just as Mane the number four at Ballon d'Or and the number five Mo Salah at Ballon d'Or and then we have Harry Kane remaining at 150 million euros a very strong first possible squad of this most valuable squad in the Premier League the old market value of these players was 1.185 billion euros the new market value increased to 1.315 billion euros and that is a total increase of 130 million euros This, of course, is a team with a great market value already for every single one of them being a star in the world. Let's take a look at a couple of players who are not a star yet, but probably will be soon. As we take a look at the biggest increases in the transfer market market value update this December. The first one is John McGinn from Aston Villa. He has the biggest increase percentage-wise, as you see here, 207.7%, going up from 6.5 million to 20 million euros in market value. Very strong season for Leicester City and for their creative midfielder, James Madison. His market value goes up 33.3% percent from 45 to 60 million euros number two position in the league table for Leicester a big part coming from James Madison Shagla Suryunchu is part of a strong defensive mind with Leicester City the Turkish international has a gain of 100% going up from 20 to 40 million euros in market value. The former Freiburg Bundesliga player now is the most valuable Turkish player ever in market value. Dean Henderson gaining 114.3%. He is a loney with Sheffield United coming from Manchester United and he already was called up for the three lines to join the squad for the last European qualifiers. Another upgrade is the one for Chelsea's young gun Mason Mount. He goes up 28 0.6% from 35 to 45 million euros. And if there are ups, there are also downs. The first one coming to former Arsenal captain Grani Chaka, the Swiss international, not a part of the Arsenal team anymore, playing wise, goes down from 40 million to 30 million euros. Chaka's decrease coming from the trouble he has with his own fans at Arsenal due to some bad language he used against them. Another Swiss on his way down right now is Xadan Shakiri, who only has a backup role with Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. The Swiss international goes down 12% from 25 million euros to 22 million euros. And another one going down is Italian youngster Moise Kain, who came in this summer into Everton but really hasn't lived up to the expectations so far in Premier League action. Only 11 games, no goals for the Italian international. And he goes down from 40 million euros to 32 million euros. And he is also an exhibit for a possible loan transfer in winter to a Serie A site. And this is, of course, only an extraction of all the market value updates that we have for you. If you're looking into certain ones, you should visit our website where we have all the statistics, all the ups and downs for the Premier League. We move on to the news and Carlo Ancelotti and Napoli decided to part ways. Ancelotti left the team after a decisive 4-0 victory in the last group stage game in Champions League action against KC Gale. Napoli finished second behind Liverpool, moving on to the next round. But seven league games without a win and only position number seven in the league table led to the departure of Carlo Ancelotti from Napoli. Gennaro Gattuso is supposed to be his successor, the former AC Milan coach and player. Didier Deschamps 
prolonged his contract with the French national team. The World Cup champion from 2018, he also won the title in 1998 as the captain of the French equipe, will now be part of the French national team until June 2022, allowing him to try to maintain the title which no nation has ever done since Brazil, having done it in 1962. And there's another contract extension with Tottenham. The contract with goalkeeper talent Brandon Austin is prolonged into summer 2022. The 20-year-old is part of England's under-21 squad and is a product of the Spurth Youth Academy. And that's it for Transfer Marked TV International for this week. I hope you enjoy the couple of Champions League games coming up, as well as the Europa League and all the league action at the weekend. Hope to see you next week. Have a good one. Bye-bye.